So we are now ready for our live demo, okay? And to give you a brief overview, today we're presenting you a microgrid system that you're seeing here that is attached to a 615 nodes distribution system. Now the main features of this demo are that uh, Artemis SSN blocks are used to decouple the distribution systems into 13 independent parallel groups, okay? The full model is running on three cores at 50 microseconds, and the PV and the energy storage inverters are simulated using advanced interpolation techniques. I will now pass the hand to my colleague Amin Yaman, who will be presenting this demo. Hello, everybody. Um, so, um, uh, actually, the, the microgrid application uh, that we, we will present today um, uh, can be seen as a test benchmark that uh, can be uh, uh, used in various fields of research. Uh, so, it can be used uh, academically in the university for the um, understanding of uh, the, the operation of the microgrid by uh, simulating um, the, the the complete system in real time using the the Opal RT simulator. Uh, can you share your screen? Uh, the screen. We're not seeing the the panel right now. Yes, because I will just uh, uh, talk a, a little bit about the setup. Okay. Hello, Francois. Yes. So you can see my screen now? No, right now we're seeing connected to go to webinar. Okay. Okay, that's good. Thank you. Okay. So um, as I was uh, saying, um, uh, the the application is a test benchmark that can be used uh, uh, for uh, various uh, uh, field of research. So it can be used also for uh, rapid prototype uh, control prototyping by uh, connecting um, a real controller uh, uh, to the simulator through the digital and the analog uh, input outputs. Uh, it can be used also uh, in the protection domain uh, for uh, the, the relay protection uh, tests, uh, etc. So the model was developed uh, using uh, MATLAB SimPower system. And uh, once it is compiled, uh, it can be transferred uh, to the to the simulator for a real-time uh, simulation. So actually, here uh, uh, the model can be linked to uh, this uh, kind of interfaces. Uh, the, the the basic application actually comes with these four uh, interfaces. So the first interface here. Uh, it shows the, 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 an overview about the system. So uh, we have here uh, a wind turbine uh, delivering a maximum power of 10 kilowatt. We have here a PV that is delivering uh, a maximum power of 5 kilowatt through this two-level uh, inverter. Uh, we have also uh, uh, some loads representing uh, some neighborhoods. And we have a backup battery that will absorb or deliver the power difference between the, gener the generated power and the, the demand power. So here, this is uh, a global uh, interface that uh, leads to understand a little bit the operation of the microgrid. So the operator can, for example, increase the, the PV power uh, and also the wind power, as you can see here. And then we can see that actually the generated power is more than the the the, the demand, so the battery is actually uh, recovering this power. And then uh, we can see here in this indicator the state of charge of the battery. Uh, so we can see that is it is uh, charged at 90%. So um, actually we can disconnect our battery and then sell the power to the power distributor. Um, uh, so this is uh, this this interface actually is for the operator or for the undergraduate student uh, 
to, to understand the, the basics of the microgrid. Uh, we have also some other kind of uh, interfaces that are more uh, detailed. So here we show the uh, acquisition from the PV system. So we have the, the voltage of the PV uh, at the DC side, the current, and the voltage current uh, at the AC side. And here we have uh, the, the power delivered by the PV. So actually we can uh, uh, apply some uh, 24 hours uh, uh, profiles. So we test the PV model, for example. Uh, as you can see here, so at in the evening, there is no sun, so there is no power, and then it, it starts to increase. Uh, it achieves a maximum at midday, and then it starts to go down to zero, and the power also, as you can see here. So uh, uh, also the insulation or the irradiance can be, uh, can be uh, controlled manually, as you can see here, and then we can see uh, the, the behavior of the PV system and compare it to the theoretical or to the experiment results. So um, uh, uh, here we have another tab that will uh, give the that will give the, the result from the battery and the behavior of the battery. So uh, we can also uh, apply some 24 hours load profile this time. So we can see that the control uh, will uh, ask the battery to always follow the the power difference, as you can see here. And then if the battery uh, is disconnected, so it's the distributor that will be uh, 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 that will deliver the the difference of the power, as you can see here from this uh, uh, graph. So uh, for the for the wind turbine, we have a wind turbine here, so we can do mini tests. I am showing only the the principal tests, but uh, we can do. Uh, uh, many other tests on the PV on the battery side or in the uh, in the wind turbine side. So here I am applying a 24 hours wind profile, uh, and then uh, uh, we can see the behavior uh, of the wind turbine. We have here the voltage, the current, uh, the power, and the speed of the rotor. So this kind of tests, for example, can be used to uh, validate the the, the model of simulation of the wind turbine by comparing, by applying this kind of profiles and uh, um, uh, comparing the result with the experimental results uh, collected from the real life. So um, another uh, kind of test that we can, or another field of uh, application of this, uh, of this kind of uh, uh, platform, test platform, is the, the the transient or the fault study? So uh, people usually uh, what they want what they want to do is they have a distribution network and uh, they want to connect uh, their microgrid, but uh, they want to protect it. So they want to see uh, uh, the the influence of a fault in different location of the distribution network on the microgrid. So uh, so here uh, we can do. Uh, mini uh, uh, tests or mini kind of tests uh, in this domain. So, for example, here I will show uh, the case of uh, uh, AB to ground fault at one of the buses uh, closer to the to the microgrid. Uh, so here we can see the influence of these faults. Uh, this is the bus where the fault is applied. This is the voltage and the current at that bus. And here we have the voltage, the AC voltage and AC current uh, in, the, in, the, in the microgrid side. So here we can see clearly the influence of these faults on the microgrid uh, by this voltage sag here and uh, this uh, uh, fault current here. And we can see it uh, in, the, in the power uh, graph also. So uh, actually what we will do is uh, uh, we can island completely our uh, microgrid so we have no influence uh, from the faults and then once we uh, repair uh, once we repair uh, our 
fault, so we can go back and reconnect to the battery again without any problem. Uh, so here in brief, uh, 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 some tests. We can also, uh, for people that are, uh, uh, let's connect our battery again. And then uh, uh, here for the people that are studying really faults, they, they are interested uh, interested by um, uh, varying the by vary the, the the for example the fault duration as we can do here. So this is a fault generation that we that we have done, but it can be uh, 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 that it can be custom for uh, for uh, any application. So here we will see that uh, the fault will move. So people uh, are interested. Uh, by uh, moving the fault and studying or uh, analyzing the, the fault current based on the instant uh, when it will arrive to the system. Uh, we can also uh, vary the, the duration of the fault as you can see here. So here the duration will, will, uh, will vary uh, periodically. So uh, here in brief, the kind of fault that we can apply, the kind of uh, test that we can apply. Uh, there are many other tests that we can do, uh, and I will keep them for the, the discussion and the, the, the questions uh, session. Thank you.